Hello, I'm Paul Falcão and I'm showing you a new beta version of Material Maker. Um, this is a program where you can create uh, textures procedurally um, and now you can also uh, export, uh, you will be able to export new type of uh, materials. Uh, one of them is ray marching material, is the one I'm going to show you now. And this ray marching material can be applied to like a cube in Godot and that cube will not appear as a cube it, inside the cube it, it will be you will have um, a ray marching object that we will define now using nodes here uh, we will also use some uh, library functions that i added to the program you can see them in my github and load the, the library is just a file there in manage libraries okay so i'm creating now a sphere um, i'm now going to add a deformation to the sphere a polar let's see where is it polar repeat so it will repeat in a polar okay around the circle so in right now you can see that what what you are seeing is just a cube okay uh, it's just a cube and and what we are building it's the the shader that is drawing the cube and that shader it's a ray marching so it's like uh, the cube was like a portal into the ray marching world okay so we, we are building the function the sign distance function that defines the 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 object and now we are drawing a uh, color using a procedural 3d texture using some noise so th the beauty of this is you will be able to export this into Godot so you can just put a cube in Godot and instead of the cube you will see this object that doesn't exist actually only exists in a procedural way and you can look around the object it's like a real object okay but it's just inside the cube i will show you that in a few minutes so let's tweak this a bit play around with the with the colors so by the way, some of these nodes are, are not built in in Material Maker, but you can download them. I will put the links below in the video. So you can also, uh, it just, uh, it's very easy to install. You just download a file and the nodes, the new nodes will appear. It's very easy, as you can see, to tweak and create a new sign distance function. You don't have to know anything about math just play with these nodes and generate a pretty object like this one here which already has so th th this this uh, generates a physical based um, uh, object which has several components like the albedo metallic etc um, let's adjust here the brightness okay more so now Let's see, we will add uh, some deformation to, to the surface. Let's deform the surface, display the surface using the, the noise. So it, it creates some real bump in the, in the surface. Okay, nice. And as you can see, you would you would need a lot of polygons to do this but right now you are only drawing um, a cube not that it will be very fast to render actually if you do of course if you do a very complex uh, ray marching object it will be uh, slow to render so in practice you can use this in Godot but uh, I advise you to don't do very complex objects okay because the shaders w can be uh, very expensive okay but 
right now it's like 120 frames per second so an object of this complexity it's no problem and it's so procedural uh, right now i'm not animating uh, but it it can also be an animated object so you can animate the the noise and animate the, like i'm doing here you can add time here so every one of these values you can define they're an expression and you sign and cosine uh, along with time and make everything uh, uh, as an animation and that animation will also be available in, in Godot okay also when you add some displacement you the, the sign distance function becomes not perfect so you sometimes have to add some correction but if the distance if the dis if the displace is low, you don't have to add correction, and everything works nice. So I think I think it's cool now, right? Let's move to Godot. Okay, here in Godot you can see the object, so you can see the the, the cube. It's just a cube, but inside the cube it's the object that we have uh, made using just nodes in Material Maker. Okay, and I can look around the object and it's looking beautiful if i step into the cube you will you no longer see the object because it, the, the the godot does not render the cube <laughs> okay i'll hope you like it subscribe to my channel